Handler comes out. They're all in. And they're running, and a good break by would-be Empress Grandy gets left, and Triolet also has quite a good break on the inside. But it's who's counting down the centre of the track, uh, Ashrafi down the centre of the track. Ashrafi down the centre of the track with would-be Empress Triolet on the stand side and on the far outside, who's counting with Divine Prince trying to get into it. Uh, sadly, uh, Grandy was left four or five lengths there, but catching up now. But it is Ashrafi and would-be Empress, 450 metres to go. Would-be Empress right in front there, kicking on now. Would-be Empress, here comes Grandy, just sitting tucked in behind, looking for a, a, st a, a stand side run. Grandy on the inside, would-be Empress, Ashrafi, who's counting? Divine Prince left and Trile not in the race. It's going to be very tight. Here comes Grandy and would-be Empress. It's between these two. Grandy and would-be Empress, Grandy and would-be Empress, the between these two. Grandy going for the line, would-be Empress going for the line also. It's between these two, and Grandy's just going to get up. Up there, Grandy's going to win it. It's the weights that told. Ralton Peters goes home with the winner. Grandy wins. Would be Empress. Then it goes to Ashrafi. Then <coughs> who's counting? And Divine Prince. So there it goes. The weights told here. As, uh, Grandy got left at the start, but he found up his way up the hill there. He tucked in on the stand side rail. Ralton Peters, a good ride there to finish the day. Grandy wins. Would be impressed. The weights came into this. Then uh, we'll get Ashrafi. Good run there to finish third. Who's counting gets into fourth. And then into fifth place. Looks like it's going to be Divine Prince. Thank you very much for everybody coming here today. We thoroughly enjoyed Ralton Peters, the visiting jockey from Zimbabwe, wrapping up the afternoon with the only win for him in the afternoon. It would have been very unfitting that you go home without a win, but this was the last chance, and you brought Grandy home very well. You missed the break somehow. You, you actually were left two or three lengths behind over 1,000 meters, which could have been deadly, but you brought him home and won well. Yeah, you know, Jockey, you, know, you can't always win all the races. Even if I went home dry, you will, we, we live to fight another day. Well done to Patsy, see Pep Rules as well for today. Unfortunately, only one winner. Um, I wanted him to miss the break because I wanted him to get cover. I rode him uh, some time back. He was quite headstrong. I got him nice cover. When I joined Les, stuck him to, uh, with a thick couple of smacks, and uh, he went on to win a good race. It was actually deliberate rather than, rather than uh, accidental that you actually missed the break then. Yes, yes. And, uh, you know, the outside uh, got go a little bit tight, but he stuck his head in. One well, one for all concerned. A very brave strategy over a thousand meters. Well done, Ralton. We'll meet you later on for the drinks there. Well done. You've done Patsy proud today, and you've done yourself proud, and we are proud of you to come and grace Kenya Racing with your presence. Thank you. Patsy, well done. A, only a fitting conclusion, finale to your day. It wasn't to be the derby for you. You had three runners in it, but one, two for you. I think you cannot uh, be dissatisfied with this result today. Yeah, well, you know, uh, racing's a fickle game. You win some, you lose some. Today wasn't our day, but we finished with a win in the last. We'll come back and win more. But, you know, congratulations. Um, I have to say, actually, congratulations to the Millses, um, Tanya and Anita, who actually chose all these South African three-year-olds that are running now, and every one bar one is a multiple winner, including winning all the classics. So these two girls did a grand job at choosing these horses when they went down to choose them. So well done, Tanya, and well done, Anita. Thank you. Well, thank you, Patsy, and uh, we'll see you later in the members' lounge. But that brings the to conclusion today's Derby Festival, sponsored so well by David Armstrong, by the Spur uh, Limited Ghana. is none other than John Sirkham. It's all in the family. Well done, Harry Deacon Memorial Bowl, one of the very prestigious prints of Kenya Racing Calendar. Well done, Linda. Well done, Michelle. Well done, Patsy, to train the winner. One, two for Patsy today. The winner going to Ralton Peters as a rider. And uh, just to remind everybody, there will now be a presentation of the Derby Cup and the Breeding Futurity Cup in the Members' Lounge upstairs.